action coming at you. Back to the Neuromod division, where everything is going great, aside from the invisible monsters and the gigantic drones with turrets for arms and the broken leg. All right, we just fabricated uh, some Neuromods. We learned how to do that. What did I fabricate? Well, I'm sorry, which, how did I spend it? Right, I got scientist. I still have six left. I'm thinking about hacking three. I'm thinking about leverage two, repair two. I'm thinking about suit modification two. I'm thinking a lot of things. Uh, I'm thinking my health is sort of low. Uh, how, how many health packs do I have? Seven? I need to find a trauma station, is what I need to find. I need this one health pack. Oh my god, that's so much better. How much does it, does it tell me how much it uses now? Or how much, uh... Let me see, health pack. Restores 36 to 25. It seemed like a lot. Any, it's better. It's better than it was. I'll take it. Um... Now, now where are we going? I have to go to Psychotronics, um, eventually. Uh, I, th I want to take one more quick look around the, the Neuromod lab. Um, I gotta get rid of that. Uh, Psychotronics, Psychotronics. I have to go back to the, my office. Is there anything... Can I get over there? Let's go check over there real quick. Stairs, there's not really anything for me. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Operator Spencer. Oh, it just loops around to where that one is. I'm gonna bring this with me just just in case. I don't know. If you're curious about the blood stains on my screen, it's because I'm also hemorrhaging. Which is unfortunate. I don't even know if I can get in here. No, so, oh, I can, yeah. And what is this place? Volunteer testing. It doesn't sound like a place I should go with my current status, that's for sure. But, we're going to. Ow. Maybe they have uh, a healing operator in here because during testing people got injured. Maybe? Just want to take a look in there before I start going inside doors. What? Where? Where? Is it right in front of me and I don't realize it? Was it in a window? Oh, it's over there. 
Oh god. <laughs> Damn it. Not doing particularly well. I did survive, though. I should get necropsy. Never mind insulation and extraction. Trauma center. <laughs> I wish I hadn't used those two med packs now. This stuff. Oh, my God, yes. Requesting new operator. Yes, please. And I really wish I hadn't used those two med kits now. Transstar, are you ready for an appointment? 490 medical class operator. Diagnosing. You have more than one serious trauma. We should deal with that immediately. Try to relax. Fantastic. Brain pills fabrication? Not sure what that is. So, uh, can I get that? Uh, I would like that. It's like I can't get it. It's weird that they would have it in there. I mean, whatever, I don't need it. It's just... Just organic material. Psy hypo med kit. All right, you stay here, buddy. All sorts of goodies in here. Two neuromods, fantastic. Fantastic. Dude, I like this place a lot. Making sure we're all loaded. Alright. Why still with the creepy sounds? Alright. Well, that test subject had a lot of stuff go well, bad, good, I don't know, terrible. Alright, what's the deal here? Surgery console. Um, patient not available. Patient connectome must be updated with a recent neural scan in order to perform a successful opto optoregressive neuro neurotomy. Neurotomy. Neural scan, surgical procedures. Extract and designate designated neuroma from the subject. Hmm. Subject may be confused upon awakening from their aptoregressive neurotomy and could show erratic behavior. Following audio will assist patients in understanding what has happened and ease their shock. Hello, volunteer. My name is Bianca Goodwin. I'm the volunteer and guest liaison aboard Talos One. I wanted to be the first person to congratulate you when you woke. On behalf of everyone at Transtar, well done and thank you. I'm sure you feel disoriented. 
This is because you've just experienced a medical procedure known as apto-regressive neurotomy. For the next few hours, you might have trouble with fine motor skills or recalling details. More importantly, your memory of the tests is completely gone. But don't worry. I want you to know your willing participation was a big success. It's already yielding valuable information for our scientists and engineers. So, please, rest easy for now. Once you feel well enough, I'll come by to conduct your exit interview. See you soon. Hello, volunteer. Hmm. Okay. No patient. No patient. Uh, I don't think... Yeah, okay. Well, great. So, this is where they remove them. Fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna quick save, just since we're in a room with a medical... A trauma... I keep, I keep on to call them droids. Got some chess ideas. A lot of these psi hypos that I don't have any use for yet. Of broken screens. Uh, what's our inventory looking like, by the way? Integrity. One upgrade kit. Hmm. Shotgun, I've just been going all in on firepower. <laughs> I think I want to keep doing that. I'm not too... The, the recoil hasn't bothered me yet. I don't know. The pistol seems pretty... Pretty useful. If I'm being honest. More accuracy begins to be, like, not important if I can't, if I don't have the range to use the accuracy. Hmm. I don't care. I'm doing accuracy anyway. things. There's another one in here, huh? Is there not another one in here? Really thought I heard one. Exit, where does this go? Downstairs. Okay. Alright, well, since I'm here, I'm. What? Why? What? <laughs> Might as well use this guy to heal me again. Diagnosing superficial injuries. Nothing a portable medical kit can handle. This won't take long. All done. Please fill out a patient experience questionnaire so I can serve you better next time. They really want to push that this room is creepy. Uh. 
Right, so let's go down this way. want to keep stuff that gives organic material, I think. Hmm. I should break down all this sparkling wine. That stuff looks useful in that regard. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What do I get rid of here? All right, I want, let's get rid of, let's get rid of this. Transfer that. There we go, let's take this. It's time to go find a recycler. Uh, white noise. Yeah, okay, we read about this. It's like this weird, weird issue. And and they say that, yeah, okay, so the idea is that they can't, they can't use neuromods on someone that has white noise. Right, can't take that. Don't have more room. Where is this on the map? This... Okay, so there's still just like a little room here, and I guess it's leading back out to the, the main lobby. Still confused how this connects. Oh, this is that... Oh, right, okay. I remember I saw the guy in here. Creature in there. This goes... There's a mimic there. A jerk. What's broken here? What am I supposed to repair? Why is there a repair icon on this? Seems to be working just fine. <laughs> I do all that healing. And then I come back in here and having issues again. Do I want to go back through here? Oh shit. Creature in there. Is there any point for me to do this? I think the only thing back there is... Is that safe that I don't have the um... Is that safe that I don't have the, the code for? I wonder if I can hack it at this point. Oh uh, god, I want to go see. I gotta go see. I gotta go check it out. Why not? Um, pistol maybe. I can, I can handle a phantom. Yeah. 
Whoa. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe I can't handle a phantom. Mistakes were made. It's a poor decision on my part. Poor, poor decision. Oh, I'm right here. Nice. Alright, so maybe don't shoot him at range with a pistol like that. I just, I wanted to get that, um, that sneak attack uh, damage on him. Man, those guys hit so hard. They hit so hard. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna die just going back to the the uh the opening area. I don't know what it turned into down there. I'm sure it'll scare me later. And there's a corrupted... Oh, come on. This whole area is refilled. Come on, turn around. Go the other way, please. Oh my god, it's coming my way. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Probably so dumb that I'm going all the way back through here. Can I take a shortcut? Yeah, and go over here. Uh, I want to make sure I'm ready to take on that. Oh, shit! I thought it was just a mimic over here. Uh. Oh, my God. This might be a shotgun situation. Oh, god damn it. Come on. Okay. Where, where the hell did it go? Is it? All right, what the fuck? I'm gonna get down there and it's gonna jump out. It's gonna find me. Okay, you know what? Since we're here, I think we're just going to get Hacking 3. We're going to get Hacking 3. We're going to do it. I don't feel like looking for this code. difficult. Okay. Slide. Slide hypo. Optimizer morph? What the hell is that? Is that a chipset? 
Oh, it's a scope chipset. I can't even install that yet. Use the initial side cost of morph powers. Hmm. All right. Well, this whole time with this this safe, and I don't know if I care about any of it. Doubles. This means all food would give me ten health. I'm gonna hold off on. Uh, I'm gonna hold off on doing more of those at the moment. Can we get out of here without fighting that monster? Let's just go. With any luck, I don't ever have to come back to this area. Anyone here? Another one in here? Wait, why is this locked? Why is it locked? I definitely have used this before. Have I not? Am I losing my mind? Oh my god. That's really stupid. Maybe I didn't get this one. Uh, we're locked in here. Graves is over in the door locks, and there's no way out of fabrication. We're in the research office upstairs with Snow and Divya. Graves light is on. I can see him moving around his office, but he's not responding. All right. Well, I think I've been over there. I think I've I've dealt with that because I've been in Graves' office and all that. Uh, please keep traffic through the skill recorder area at minimum. I guess I never, I never did get into this, uh, this security terminal. Way back in the beginning, I wouldn't have had, uh, I guess I thought it was unlocked at that point. I think I've been in skill recorders now. Uh, I've been, I, I got into the whole area. Um, okay, so I want to... I want to turn off my search for... his name? This guy. This guy... I can't remember his freaking name. There we go. Still in Bellamy. Alright, I think... I think I've done what I want to do in this area for the moment. Restroom. I looked in that bathroom. It was a trap. Um, let's check the map real quick. Skill recorder. Oh, so okay, that's this room right here. So that that's the last thing I need to check. I think there was a creature in here. Keep the shotgun out. I don't see a large creature, so let's switch to... I don't know. Let's switch to the glue gun. Typhon layer.
Typhon Lure, aka Nightlight, emits a psycholuminescent signal that entices Typhon to move toward the lure for a short, short period of time. Find with other weapons or tactics to escape, ambush, observe, be thrown or affixed to stationary objects. Alright, neat. I don't know, for most of that stuff, I'm probably just going to pull out the, uh, this wheel. I'm not going to, like, try and quick switch to it. I'm not too concerned. Um... Junior Bookman. Well, I can hack it. So I don't need to go looking around for passwords. Oh my god, come on, come on. Can I hack it? Because... Got it. Got it, got it. One email. <clears throat> Another decontamination exercise. What do you think they found? Wow. Junior Bookman. It's not interesting. This room's not interesting. Guitar. <laughs> nice. Helen Croft. <laughs> this is nice. <laughs> Creepy chords. All right, what did unlocking this, like, why? Why unlock this room? Doesn't seem like there was anything of any, like, real, like, purpose in here, unless... Hold on a second. Can I... Can I climb to an interesting place? Perhaps? This just goes around the room. Just goes around the room. Doesn't seem to bring me anywhere special. No, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Come on. Just relax. Okay, we're gonna fall off. <laughs> no, there's nothing in here. This is pointless. Pointless. Have I been in there? I was in there, right? Yeah, that's the stairway. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright. Let's go back to the lobby. My suit's a little busted up. There we go. <clears throat> Huntress Bolt Caster is an unlikely combat tool. Remotely trigger trap, distract enemies, interact with screens, buttons. I haven't found a use for that yet. Currently clogging up some inventory space, but, you know, maybe. It's hard for me to get rid of the nerf gun, you know? What a greeting, that guy.
All right, so let's see. Let's see where we want to go next. Um, I want to learn about December, so I'm going to go back to the office. That's what I'm going to do. Um, is it on my... Wait, the Arboretum? Oh, in Alex's office. Right. Can I get to the Arboretum is the question. Which way to the Arboretum? Level 1. Psychotronics Foyer. Psychotronics. I don't know how to get there. Oh, okay. So first, let's go to this recycler. Um, there's a recycler towards the psychotronics foyer. Um, I'm gonna do that because I got I, my my entire inventory is full. Is it through here? Yeah, I can get to it through here. Oh, I cannot get to it through here. <laughs> There's this freaking door. There it is. It's right there. Oh, and it's broken. That's alright. I have enough. Uh... I'm going to be coming through here enough times that I think it's it's worth spending on it. Oh, this is also the way to Alex's. Question is, is it safe to go in this room? Oh my god. Oh, that's all I have to do? Alright, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna quick load that. That's a little lame of me, but I don't want that damage. Oh god, I can't repair it. Maybe I should put repair two? Maybe it's time. Can I do it right now? Oh, I can't do it right now. I need one more neuromod. Is there a Neuromod in here? Alright, well, let's just do this. Uh, we're also gonna... Here, let's do all these. Thanks for that. <clears throat> I don't know, should I keep some of it? Cures fear. It's, that's gotta be a trauma that happens at some point. I'm going to keep all those. These Psy Hypos, I'm sure at some point I'm going to start needing them. It's all the space I control, huh? I guess we're going down to Psychotronics. Let's not mess around here. Let's just do what we need to do. Get a sneak, a sneak pistol shot on him. Oh man, wait, he's coming up. He's coming up. Actually, hold on. What if I just...
Oh, it didn't work. It didn't work. Those, those grenades in those circumstances. I'm not super aware of what each of the abilities of these creatures is yet. Alright, let's do this again real quick. I deal with this guy because the shot even four shotgun blasts aren't gonna kill him I mean glue cannon the, the time it takes to switch to the glue cannon and and stop him up he's gonna be back on me and one shot what if I could try this typhon lure and I can get that explosive. Um, like there's like a, a canister. Let's try it. It's worth trying. You know, let's learn a little bit about these things. Oh, why did it come up here? Seem to allow. Okay, so before when I thought I couldn't switch while reloading. Okay, it seemed to. Oh, it lets you do it as long as. It does let you do it. I don't. Maybe I was just. Um... Yeah, you can do it. I don't know why I couldn't do it before. Oh, you can't do it while you're. Reloading while well, you're reloading the glue cannon for some reason. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Maybe you can't switch between, uh, like military and non-military weapons because I know that's a distinction in the in the neuromod tree or whatever. All right. Well, that didn't go. Terribly. Didn't go great. Alright, we're hold up, we're gonna hold off on using a on using a, another health pack right now. We're gonna wait just one second on that and see. See what's going on down here. It doesn't look great. How'd you die, Joel Weeks? This... This area looks very ominous. I guess we're going in. Psychotronics Lab was built around the Russian Verona 1 satellite that first encountered the Typhon Ecology in 
Access the guts. Psychotronics. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to go through the guts thing and eventually do the Arboretum analysis, I guess. Obviously, gonna have to glue that back up. Just see if there's anything else. Wonder if I can get up there. It looks like I should be able to get up there. It's not like catching anything though. God. This music and this jumping. <laughs> no. Alright. So we don't like this place, huh? January doesn't seem to be working with Alex, but I think he might have his own... I think he's corrupted beyond what I programmed him to do. That looks like a dangerous place to go. Yep. Is there another thing down here? No, drop that. Get out of here. I tell me I like it. <laughs> Alright, anything else in here? Security station. Something's in here, obviously. Get him. No. <laughs> oh god. Thank you. 
we safe? I don't know if we're safe. Uh, okay. Excerpt from historical account of the civil unrest within the Soviet Union. Although the relationship between the USSR and the United States had warmed in the past few decades, there was little doubt that vestiges of the Iron Curtain still hung icily between the two countries. Indeed, more than a century since its inception, Vladimir Lenin's communist vision still found itself alive and well within the oft-expanded boundaries of Mother Russia. But with each new Soviet annexation, the USSR began to find that the public outcry no longer came from just the Americans, but from amongst its own citizens. The Mensheviks, as they came to be known, opposed the aggressive Soviet expansion doctrine. While at first only a minority, the Menshevik movement continued to grow rapidly. Events would ultimately culminate following the Soviet Indian intervention, the outbreak of civil unrest led by the Mensheviks, and the beginning of the Second Purge. We don't have to worry about locking it. All right, we have. There's a morgue on this floor somehow. If I can get to. Oh, that's where his body should be. Right. Apparently, found a belt on these corpses is actually located in psychotronics. I don't know. Maybe it's not. In the... Hmm. I don't know. I'm the morgue or not. Emails. Uh, at the end of second shift, as per Alex Hughes' direct orders, you are to escort Dr. Galagos to the security office in the main lobby. I don't know who Galagos is or what he did. What's Okay, so 23 of 21. What does 21 mean? 21 are dead? Yes, it means two are alive. Two are alive. What's going on out there? <laughs> Good, turrets. Security check scan. Can't do anything with those. Oh my god, I could do this the whole time. Wow. It's good to know. I didn't know I could focus all the time. I thought that was just for computer screens. Alright, let's bring this turret with us. You one of those boxes? You are one of those boxes, you little jerk. Put on your helmet, evacuate, escape pod, leave. I feel like we're going to need this turret. Clean room women. Well, oh, well, we can't go into them. Then. Leverage two. Uh, doesn't sound good. Why? I feel like I should bring this turret with me. Or I should set it up so I can, like, run back to it, maybe? Oh 
we go. Nice work. Oh, oh. Shoot him, shoot it. Uh, oh, it's broken. That's why I didn't shoot it. What is hacking? I don't understand what hacking does to a turret. No idea. Alright, well, it's broken. You did your job. You did your job and I can't repair you. Uh, let's go get the other one, I guess, just in case. Oh, also I have the extra pistol that I have to break down. Now, let's do that right now. Uh, this is my good pistol. This is my bad pistol. Let us repair this one. Was it 25%? There we go. That's looking okay. Lots of spare parts. Did I get another... I did. Another upgrade? Hmm. <clears throat> I could just throw it on range. I don't know, though. Like, th these robots, they're tough. Like, having... Having some more power to this... I've been using it more than the glue cannon, honestly, for combat. Range is high, recharge is high. Hmm. I don't know how often I'm going to run into robots and such. Let's do it. Let us do it. Starbender cycle. Uh, Trevor Pulsar slammed the Talon's engine into overdrive, praying to Zlor he'd made the gap in the asteroid field before the Mordrax raiders caught up to him. He was on urgent business for Empress Tourmaline, and rotting in a Mordrax kill prison wouldn't do. JT-88, Trevor barked. Patch me through to the nearest Royal Fleet outpost. Moments later, a scrambled hypersignal could be heard in the cockpit, resolving from static to discordant tones and finally a voice. Trevor, is that you? This is Outpost Lambda. Where in Zlor's name have you been? Trevor replied, cool as a cucumber. Saving all your asses. I found the Starbender Prism, and I'm coming in hot. I would read that book. In the name of Zlor. Before we continue out of this room, uh, I think we are going to save, and we will continue this next time uh, with Prey. See you then.